Over the past few months, we as Yellowstone fans have suffered the consequences of some of the questionable actions of our beloved creators of the show, Taylor Sheridan and Kevin Costner. Costner, who was the leading actor in the series and one of the main reasons why the show has become a major hit in the first place, surprised us with his reluctance to invest in the series any further. He claimed to not attend the shooting of the upcoming season for more than a week and openly prioritized other projects over Yellowstone. Of course, on Costner's part, Things were not as simple as he wasn't happy with Sheridan's shaky schedules and the way he runs the show. Also, he was going through some personal issues as well, particularly a messy divorce that's likely to have an impact on his decision-making process. That being said, I personally still cannot help but be disappointed over Costner's decision to leave the show, as someone who is respecting him as a person and his acting so much. I felt a bit betrayed as I was hoping to see him valuing Yellowstone as much as I do and finish the thing he started properly. Nevertheless, I have to admit that the disappointment Costner caused was nothing compared to Sheridan and his recent actions regarding Yellowstone. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the majority of you guys feel a similar way when it comes to Sheridan and the way he left Yellowstone alone to focus on other projects as if it was nothing to him. We all know that Sheridan has been writing scripts for over a decade, so we are in no position to criticize him on his work as he clearly knows what he is doing, which is evident by his immense success. He first gained recognition as a screenwriter, with his debut feature film Sicario, which was released in 2015. Since then, he has continued to write scripts for various projects including films like Hell or High Water and Wind River, both of which earned critical acclaim. So Yellowstone has never been the single project that Sheridan excels in. He has already proved himself to be a good writer and Yellowstone has become the peak point of his work. After all, his writing style was very much unique and distinctive compared to what else we see on TV today. Sheridan's writing process is known for its meticulous attention to detail and immersive approach. He often draws inspiration from real-life events and experiences, particularly those related to the American West. He starts by extensively researching the subject matter of his projects, diving into historical records and personal accounts, and conducting interviews to gain a deep understanding of the context and setting. Once he has a firm grasp of the material, Sheridan begins crafting the story, focusing on creating compelling characters and exploring complex themes. He is known for his strong character development, often delving into the psychology and motivations of his protagonists and crafting multidimensional individuals. His writing style is often characterized by gritty realism, impactful dialogue, and a keen sense of place. During the writing process, Sheridan often visits the actual locations where his stories take place. Immersing himself in the environment helps him capture the essence of the setting and infuse authenticity into his writing. This attention to detail extends to the dialogue as he strives to create dialogue that feels genuine and reflective of the character's backgrounds and personalities. Sheridan also values collaboration and seeks input from trusted colleagues and collaborators. And fun fact, in the case of Yellowstone, one of those colleagues that he collaborated with was Costner. Now, knowing how much work goes into every single one of Sheridan's projects, you may assume that he would be wise enough to handle one project at a time and then move on to the next since a day has only 24 hours, which limits every single one of us. While it seems like despite his relatively mature age and pretty well-off bank account, Sheridan refuses to be wise on this issue. Instead, he says yes to all project ideas and gives a start to every single one of them. It reached a point that currently there are more than 10 projects that Sheridan is working on simultaneously. Some of these projects, such as the highly anticipated Yellowstone spin-off series Four Sixes, have been on production for more than two years. Cast and crew, including Costner, are tired of constant delays in the filming schedule, as scripts are never ready to start shooting. And you know what? I get it. I get that he loves his job and wants to write the scripts for every single idea of his. I get that he likes to have control over everything. I get that he is a perfectionist. I get that he prefers to delay things rather than have imperfect work. But do you know what I don't get? I don't get how the show that made him Yellowstone can be overshadowed by almost every other project that he has been working on. I don't get how it cannot be prioritized, causing us to wait for a year for a simple second part of a basic season. I don't get how things can get so complicated that it would cause you to lose your leading actor and be forced to end your most successful show prematurely. I simply don't get it. And I'm truly fed up with all this nonsense. All these can be compensated if Sheridan manages to release Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 on November 2023 without any further delays and with a truly mind-blowing scenario that shocks and impresses us all. Otherwise, I'm afraid we can all agree that things are not looking good for Sheridan as a scriptwriter and his beloved Yellowstone franchise. What are your thoughts on Sheridan's greedy attitude on working on multiple projects at once? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.